Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I am pleased to welcome you to my little town of Emiliana in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I figured since this game technically considers March 1st to be the beginning of a new season, so to speak, with the ending of the coldness and such, I figured, you know, go ahead and show off a little bit of this. Oh, nice. Okay, so apparently we got 6,600 bells of interest overnight. I guess those turnips I sold the other day really did turn up a profit. Ah, uh, whatever. You guys know that's the pun, so... Yeah, I figured I'd just go ahead and show a little bit off of this, of my still young town. I jumped on this bandwagon incredibly late in the game. Like, I think my APC says I was registered on February 5th, and since today is the 1st of March, you guys might actually see this a little bit later today, except I live off in the, in the west, so... That just means that uh, it's earlier for me than it is for you guys. So let's go let's see what we got here. Nope, no bones in my backyard. We got ourselves a pitfall seed. Who'd be a jerk and do that? And look at this. We have dead, dying uh, flowers back here, both right next to each other. Uh, pitiful. Actually, let's go run back home. I should probably show this before we start running off talking to our villagers. What my house looks like. Like I said, my village is less than a month old, and this most of what you guys will see in here... I've collected from trees. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my humble abode. It's quite beautiful, yes. It actually kind of resembles my room in a sense. Like, we have the bed here in the middle, and it's just... It's just my room, you know? And I just like laying here. You got my laptop, my TV, and all this nonsense, and... I, I like it. That's kind of nice. We got some nice music. I think it's KK Moody in this regal bed that I actually bought off one of my villagers, even though she no longer has a bed to sleep in. We got some instruments here. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> yes, I'm surprised I even found all of these guitars. I'm pretty sure there's probably a few more. But um, yeah, Aurora Bialis over here. Nice little incense and laptop and nonsense. So in this room over here off to the left, I was kind of, you know, weird about getting this because I literally just had this renovated last night and have not had a chance to put anything in it. In fact, I have nothing to put in it right now on my persons because I'm so low on furniture that it is kind of insane. Like my Nookling Junction just upgraded like a couple days ago and it so far has had nothing for me lately. So I've been getting a bunch of fortune cookie stuff and guess where that nonsense is going? Yes, the most generic room in the house! It's where all the Nintendo crap goes. Yeah, I'm hopefully going to get rid of this nonsense here pretty soon, and that superstar is kind of annoying, but I'm going to go turn you off. There we go. I actually have a clock in here. One of my villagers gave me a nice little, uh, I guess this deck floor, I think it was, or ba I don't know what that's from. I literally have no idea where I picked that up, but I thought it looked kind of cool. Well, cool enough at least. So let's go and head upstairs for the second most generic house room in this house and it's an ice room i know it's pretty nice and isolated from the rest of the house but you know how it goes i came in in february and that's when i was making all my snow people but over here ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves a nice little music box ah <sighs> i think this one is kk rally which i'm not a big fan of to say the least but it's something I didn't know that this game even had is the fact that you can actually synthesize items if you give two particular things or more to uh, Russell. I know you can make like, you know, like gold plated furniture and stuff like that. I just wasn't aware you could like give him a giant clam as well as a music player and 3,000 bells and he'll go ahead and make a little mu music box for you. So I thought that was friggin' awesome and I definitely did that. Um, here we've got Flo's house. Actually, as a matter of fact, oh, and there's Sahara. I might actually go talk to Sahara pretty soon. But uh, Flo, unfortunately, will be leaving us tomorrow. I'm sorry, Flo. <laughs> Didn't really like you all that much. I'm moving tomorrow, actually. I'm pretty much done packing. <laughs> yes, I wasn't going to help you anyway. Yep, I will keep things rocking in the free world while you're not here. All right, what else are you going to say? Read that tap dancing book. Who'd I lend it to? I guess it's gone now. Chia. It's like Chia. No, whatever. Adios, Florence. We'll see you in the afterlife. I didn't like it when you were <laughs> my neighbor from behind, but no big deal. So, I think I'll talk to... Actually, here we've got uh, Tom over here. Tom the blue cat that bears absolutely no resemblance to a similarly looked in character in a popular cartoon series of the 50s. So, let's, uh, let's chat for a little bit. What do you got to say with your BB shirt? I don't wear a watch, so I'm really grateful for the park clock. Yes, the park clock that I just recently uh, installed. I think I actually did that yesterday, so that's actually kind of cool. I've been doing a lot more public ordinance or public work projects lately. 
All right, so let's see what our new thing says. Probably, yep, the much anticipated new park clock. Very nice. Uh, campsite and the street lamp. All right, that's pretty much most of what I've done already. So uh, as far as routines go, we've got our perfect fruit here. I might do that a little bit later. I like shaking trees every so often so I can so I can get beehives. No, no, no. I am not getting a bee sting, even though I'm pretty sure I have medicine. No, not today, bub. God, I was just going to say, because you get two random pieces of furniture dropping out of your tree as well as a bunch of 100 golds and stuff like that, but god, that was just the worst luck. Anyway, since we're here, I'd like to bring attention to my flag, which if you guys are familiar with Journey, that's actually the same emblem that your Journeyer uses over the course of the game, like your, your scarf. So that was freaking awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and invite some guests in just in case. I don't think anyone's online right now and I don't have that many friends, but I figured might as well just open it up to the general everything uh, just in case and wow, okay. I didn't realize that the 3D slider actually divided this camera on screen like that. Weird. So all of my friends, please. Yeah, I usually play with 3D. I usually just kind of alternate between on and off just whenever my eyes get tired. But when I'm recording, I have it off. I just noticed it was just slightly off off so <laughs> that's fantastic stuff so let's take a little walk around town shall we my beautiful little town of emiliana this is tom's house both neither of them were there but what i kind of thought was interesting when i first entered this place is that the rest of my villagers are an incredibly condensed part of town next to town hall and hey we've got ourselves rowan the tiger <laughs> Great! Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions, Mango. Don't call me Mango. I don't like mangoes, man. I like mango flavored things, which is probably bad. The hula dancing guy's face was on the package. <laughs> How am I face on a bag of chips? You know what? You are Chester. Cheddar Chester, whatever the hell your name is. So, um, that is, um, Rowan, and he's kind of a known character. Ooh, but here we've got Static, and he's kind of an interesting character. He's got, like, a nice little lightning bolt on his head, and I don't know, his house looks crappy. We've got Freckles. She's probably out shopping, actually, because anytime she's not here, she's literally always at retail or something. Uh, Phil's house, and... Oh, here's Phil. Uh, Phil himself. Phil the Philanthropist. I was hoping to see you, Allison. So something up? Bonjour. I don't know why I made him say that. So he was up way too late last night working on a special note for a special someone. Is that special someone me? Because I wrote you a letter. Nope. Oh, he ran out of juice. Zonked out. Okay, so he wants some fruit. Get me a piece. One piece. I will not make an anime reference there. But yes, I am the fruit rustler. Which is why... Aha! Perfect! Okay, for some reason I randomly shook that on accident at one point And just left the fruit there. Callison seems like too quiet. Yes, you can eat this fruit that has been on the ground for the past 24 hours, but I'm sure it's still fine. You won't know the difference. Uh, take it. Wow, the scent of it's like a sweet perfume. Yeah, just apples. Mm, I don't know. Apples are actually my native town fruit, which is kind of cool. And he's giving us a shirt. I don't know if that's weird or not, but... Mm. Yes, I saved your taste buds. I'm the savior of taste buds, and for this, I will gladly take your reward. And the... Oh my god, that is the ugliest shirt I have ever seen in my life. Are you trying to throw my reputation down the drain, man? That is not very cool of you. Oh god, who's this? Oh, that's Rowan's house, obviously. Alright, so let's go get out of here. So we've got those four down there, or those five rather, and then we've got two more up here. This is Yuka's house. This is Yuka the Koala, I believe? Something like that. I really like Yuka, actually, and I like her so much that I stole her bed. Yes, this empty space in the middle of a room, this is where her bed once stood. So I apologize, you no longer have a place to sleep, but damn is your house still regal as hell. So huzzah! What is the latest? There's a rumor going around that your civic leader. That's not half bad. What? She's been called worse. Um, do you maybe want to leave us on a better note than that? I think that would probably be in our best interest. Also, I'm wondering if you'd help me. I, I splurged on something. Okay, that's not exactly the note I was hoping to end this conversation on. A bamboo wall. Okay, so she wants us uh, for 1100, 150. Nah, I'm I'm good on that. No, thanks. I think that was literally at the Nookling Junction less than a week ago. Like, I would have loved to help you, and I still need a lot more wallpaper because I literally have nothing for any of my rooms. Except for the ice floor. I think I have a random other floor that I have in my ice room. Uh, here we've got Caroline. Okay, Caroline. Okay, Caroline's kind of an asshole, but I like her a little bit. I, th I think she's a chipmunk, but she is kind of a jerk. So I like how all the houses are just, like, all in that bottom half of this area. 
Uh, we got ourselves a nice little street lamp here as well. And I didn't realize that there was this ugly dirt there because it was still snowing there. Oh, don't think I didn't see there, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Holt. You're, 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 oh, it's a fossil. Fantastic. Yeah, so mm, I don't really know what I'm gonna show. Maybe I'll just go take these off to be assessed by Mr. Blathers. Ooh, and there's two holes here. Oh, fantastic. This is great. Is this gonna be a gyroid here? They don't usually, wow, they put two fossils literally right next to each other. That is fantastic, and thank you, game, uh, for digging that twice, I guess. So we'll go take these to be assessed. I'm probably gonna go run by retail real fast. I don't know, this is probably gonna be a pretty short, maybe 20 minutes or so. Like, I wouldn't be incredibly terrible if these were super long. And we got new bugs here. Apparently we got a batch of new bugs come in on the, uh, up, not really the update, but um, during the changing of the seasons, I suppose, well, that was really bad. <laughs> a toast fly, really game? Eh, whatever, got a bunch of like nice little flowers here. These have been multiplying by the dozen. All right, so nothing else really over here. So let's go inside retail, see what they got. Uh, hats and lemons. We do indeed have lemons somewhere on this area, but I don't really feel like going to sell any. <sighs> Who has lemons as their default fruit? That would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Reese, how's it going, Miss Reese? Now, they're not gonna really have anything else. This giant asteroid's mine and this nonsense over here. So, okay, something I kind of want to bring note of is you see this MVP thing right here. There's actually a story behind this. The MVP shirt belongs to Caroline from here in Emiliana. Um, this is the shirt that I actually entered town with, and on the second day I was here, she goes up to me and she's like, Ooh, I really love your MVP. MVP shirt. I would love to hold on to it for a little. I'll buy it from you for 169 bells and I'll cherish it forever. And she goes and sells it a week later. It's literally been there since. Ugh, it's really frustrating. And she's buying turnips for 49 bells. That is awful. <laughs> That is really bad. I'm really glad I sold when I did because it plummeted. I literally sold all of my turnips for 411 bells each, and I got like a million bells off of it. It was freaking awesome. I got a nice little badge and everything for it. So Caroline's kind of an asshole, and we've got a new camper here. All right. Okay, so apparently after only two days, I got a camper right away. And I guess sometimes these guys will move into your town. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, we got Flo leaving. We still have that extra slot for the random street passer. Let's go talk to you. What's your name? Doc. Dr. Jones. Doc Brown. Dr. Mm, horrible. Fruit, fish, shellfish. What's the best thing to eat here? I would definitely stay away from the marine life, though. Gotta eat the local food when in trouble. Old bunny. Old bunny. Say, I'm Sean Connery. Hmm, you say. Just kidding. Doc. God. That's a lot more comfortable than I thought. They're so comfy. Yeah. It's like... Every kind of tent, aside from the ones in real life, always looks so comfortable enough to be able to sleep in. So, oh wow, okay, already? Well, that escalated quickly. So, you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am, you should move here. Uh, what? You think I should move here? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Oh, but I have to pass? I actually just moved to the t What a jerk! Oh my god, that's like talking to this girl and you're talking to them about a movie, like one you have a mutual interest in and she's like oh I really want to see that movie and then you kind of you know build up the guts to go up to her and say well you maybe want to go see it one of these nights after school and she'll just be like oh no that's fine I have a boyfriend and it's just like GTFO woman because you're not worth my time that's exactly what he did to us he just stiffed us all right well it's luckily we found that fossil there um, let's go and, uh, get rid of all of our things that we have, because we have the butterfly and the four fossils. Meowza! Anything you got to say before we head off to the shopping district? I'm, a ci I'm, I'm some kind of civic leader. What? God, they're making that seem like it's one of the worst things you could be. Some of the greatest people in history were civic leaders, and in this, they're just like, Hey, hey, you're a civic leader. Gay. It's like, might as well. Oh, God. It's like, what are we living in the 50s? Apparently so. We're still getting our money by selling fruits on the streets. Uh, so, over here... It's not very developed in this area. I really like this little bench here. I just wish you could, you know, turn the angle of the camera. But um, we've got ourselves Club LOL, which I really wish would open already, but I just barely am missing it, so it's unfortunate. Let's go to Nook's Homes, because like I said, we got that left room renovated last night. Renovated. Renovated. <laughs> um, so Mr. Tom Nook, how's it going? Oh my goodness, it's Ellison. It's me. So how much is this? I think it's like three. 50 or something, or I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. It's time for business numbers. Yes, that's right. It was 348,000 bells. Pocket change. It is pocket change. I want my ass with 348,000 bells. Okay. 
Well, I think we could easily go ahead and make that addition to us right away. I'll probably come back here because I've actually been thinking about doing some exterior renovations to my home here pretty soon. Even though I did get kind of lucky with the way it turned out, I really liked it, so that's kind of cool. Let's go pay this off real fast, and things will be good for us in the end. So that's, that's awesome. I'll probably, actually, I think I'll just do that off screen, so in the future potential episode of New Leaf, I'll go ahead and uh, just show, you know, what I decided to go with, so it's just not, you know, perfectly obvious. All right, so we've still got a million bells left in our deposit there. Thank you very much, both Island and the Turnips. All right, so let's see. There we go. All right, and with that, we have paid off our debt in this Tom. Look, we are great debt payers, man. Oh, yes, awesome. Finished off paying my home loan. That is great. So like I said, I will go back to doing that a little bit later. I won't do it on screen. It's not like you guys really need to know since I don't even have the furniture to, you know, fill it up. And then we've got ourselves this nonsense here. Oh, I forgot, we got ourselves the hair salon now open to us, even though I did get really lucky with my character also, which is kind of a strange little thing because he doesn't really look anything like me. He looks similar, I guess, but I don't have blue eyes and my hair isn't that short. Welcome, welcome, come on in. Thank you, Mr. TNT. Oh, there's Freckles. What do we got? What the hell is this thing? A uh, hibachi? Wait, what? Oh, are those those things that you like put the meat in and then like sizzles the thing and it hibachinizes your food and then you eat it? Ah, eh, whatever, a nice little bed here. Um, let's go talk to Miss Freckles here. How's it going, you cutie? Who else? I was just out for a walk to Quackity. I think I gave her the little Quackity. It's so adorable, even though I'm losing my voice. I need to buy something. Yes, every time she's not home, she's at a store and she forgets what she's gonna get. I think she's coming on with the case of uh, early onset um, not diabetes. I was gonna say something else. Regal wall? I'm not sure. I don't think I will. It looks kind of cool. Dementia. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but I got distracted reading this nonsense. And cloud flooring. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. No, 1776 will not take it. Seems like it'd be kind of cool in some circumstances. Ah, uh, Mr. Tommy, your wares are god-awful. I will not be returning. Your services will no longer be required in this town, good sir. We're gonna leave them TNT Mart. Pfft. Nobody even calls themselves Marts anymore. Let's go to Life Erickson's house, shall we? Now, I'm, mm, I feel like the more I play of this, the more not enjoyable it is to watch. I'm just gonna buy the sapling for now, just in case I forget to come back here a little bit later. And I will go and take that. Thank you, good sir. And we'll go and leave, because apparently if you buy, I think, 50 saplings, you get the silver can, I guess. I don't know. I've also been buying certain ones off in the island, too, but I don't think that counts. Let's go visit the Able Sisters. I don't want to go to the hair salon just yet, because my hair is, like, perfect right now. So, it sounds kind of weird to say, but I like it. I don't even know why I'm wearing the halo, but how's it going, Mabel? Really missed you. Mabel and Abel. All right, let's go. Uh, nothing in particular here, but hold the phone. Hold, let's check this bad boy out. What is this? I'm shopping for a present. Uh, the pink zap suit. I have the pink zap helmet. Oh man, I have to try this on. I'm sorry, I have to. Oh baby, don't I just look awesome? I guess it's okay to be a bit more adventurous sometimes. Thank you for being incredibly vague on your stances between homosexuality as well as the straight LGBT whatever nonsense. Okay, and I don't mean it's nonsense, I just mean etc. What did I say nonsense in that sense? What do we got over here in La Belle section? Wow, she has two zap helmets. That's cool, I have the pink one, but I don't have the green one. Huh. Well, we can get ourselves some nice little uh, Aussie, Aussie glasses. Uh, tiny shades. Who wears it in, who wears this in this town? Is it that weird raccoon thing or whatever? I don't, I don't know. Uh, 280, not worth it in my opinion. I don't want to be yelling Sharon, I don't want to be biting off bat heads getting rabies. No, thank you, good sir, good madam, LaBelle, label. It's, it seems like, like out of context of this game, it would definitely be LaBelle, but I guess label would make sense because it rhymes with the other one, like Sable, Mabel, Abel, it's just, you know. But uh, here we've got uh, Blathers. Let's go ahead upstairs and see if they're actually selling things of relative merit here. I have not bought the uh, renting space here and I should get to that pretty soon, but uh, let's see what we got over here. Um, nothing of interest. They'll usually have the dig site floor as well as the random museum walls and I'm not a big fan of that So let's go talk to blather sneak up on him from behind while he's asleep and scare him to death. Haha -ha. You know as bad as this is to say 
it would probably be really easy to murder Blathers in his sleep just because he's so oblivious and he's asleep so much of the time. It's like, are you getting paid to be here, man? Uh, at least he loves this job and no one else will do it, so. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. So, oh, oh, yes, fantastic. Okay, so you actually get something here. Like, from day one that I was able to get a shovel, which I think was the first day that I joined because I talked to um, Isabel a bunch of times. Uh, let's go make a donation, shall we? Let's see. Oh, it's just the one. Uh, oh, whatever. We got the two total. I've been donating every single fossil I get, even all of the fish and things I get off the island, even if it's super expensive, like the sharks and the sword saw sharks and things like that. Uh, thank you very much. Just bite the bullet and drop them all in there. All the diving things, so... I don't know. But with that having been said and done, I think we're pretty much done with this part. I don't think there's really much else there is to do here, and I'm actually getting really tired, so I might take a break and then come back to this when night has fallen. I was thinking about doing like a half during the day, half during the night, but that doesn't really make any sense. Also, we've already been recording for almost 20 minutes, so <laughs> that would probably be in our best interest not to make it super long, since I don't think anyone is particularly interested. I'll probably get the uh, ore later. As well as the other things. I didn't see it on the way here. Water all my plants here. You guys don't want to see me watering all my junk. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight onto Emiliana. I probably won't put a Dream Suite code up just because it's just not really worth it at this point. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably just lay down for a bit and just hang out. You know, maybe watch some TV and think about listening to some music or turn this nonsense off. There we go. KK Moody. Ah, there we go. Put on some nice little uh, Sons of Anarchy and the such. There we go. Alright, <laughs> my nice little laptop next one. I just turned on the light. That would not be very nice. So, next time, uh, if there is a next time, well, it'll be a little bit into the future, okay? And maybe, maybe we'll improve a little bit. I'll have some new wallpaper and designs, but um, talk to you guys in the potential next part.